Hey everybody at RCSparks.com. I am doing my entry for the Axial Wraith giveaway, so Medic, I would love to win an Axial Wraith. Now that I have uh, my business out of the way, I thought I would show you guys the Cox Scorpion that my dad gave me a week or so back. You guys been on the off-road pictures, you might have already seen the box, but I thought I would show you guys what was inside the box. So, here is the scorpion. I always remember seeing the box growing up. I never knew something was actually in it because my dad always had old boxes sitting around. So, uh, it's pretty cool that he actually had something like this and that he gave it to me just because we were talking about RC cars and he said, hey, you want my old car? And I said, sure. So, I thought I'd pop the lid off of it, let you guys see what's it's brewing on the inside here and sorry because this is my digital camera, the video is probably going to be pretty crappy so here we go as we can see it's a dune buggy style lucky number 13 and uh, pop the pin out here and let you guys look at the inside components Probably should have taken this all loose before I started. <laughs> Here is the 80s for you. The copyright on the book was 1982, so you do the math, that's at least. 29, 30 years old, close to, older than me, and uh, I was looking through the book and trying to figure out what everything was. Well, that's uh, blurry. But you got your uh, steering servo over here, steering servo, blah. And uh, you got the speed controller. Uses a uh, a Futaba remote and the remote itself is a uh, pretty wild looks like no technology I've seen for a long long time check this out that is something got your steering and on the side you get your trim and throttle control uh, can't really read it on the viewfinder, but it says 26.995 megahertz, and we all know that they are putting out at uh, 2.4 gigahertz nowadays. But uh, all in all, for being a close to 30 year old car, it's actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, the back shocks are still fairly springy. The front ones, not as much. It's probably just needs taken apart, maybe new oil in the shocks. Had my one buddy looking at it, he knows a lot more about RC than I do because I know next to nothing about it. But it uh, came with a couple different motors too. I mean there's a, the one that's on it, again I can't really tell you much about it because I don't know anything. And it's a Kyosho built in Japan so this is one of the other motors I had in it. Again, can't really tell much about it. But uh, what I thought was pretty cool, if I can find where I put it, somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. There was a, a new, well, 30 year old new Buds racing motor in the box set. You can see it's never been a. Uh, soldered to any wires so it's practically a, a brand new motor albeit it's 29 years old probably but uh I thought well if I take the time maybe I can get it going and have to get some new batteries because the ones look like they've been in it since uh, Reagan's time and the White House so uh, they were pretty corroded but it came with a little box of a 
and spare screws and gears and uh another little box had uh some tools a couple spare parts in there I mean it's actually pretty cool he still had the manual for it a little chewed up at the top but uh I like the Sidewinder. I thought it was cool looking too, the truck. I mean, the Scorpion's cool too, but I like the truck. That's a sweet 80's truck there. And even the Futaba radio had its manual for it too. I couldn't find a copyright date on it, but I'm sure it's pretty old. I mean, just looking at the thing there. So, uh, that's my Scorpion. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at it and uh thanks for your time and uh, i guess i'll see you around on the forums see ya